After winning my lane, being 2 kills and 30 CS above the enemy ADC, the overall score is 7 to 9. As Jinx Milio, we are in a really good spot to carry the game from here. But then my team decides to do this. No, 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 I was gonna carry that we have Jinx Milio on Fed. I have, I have like 30 more CS than the enemy ADC. What? My game is broken, I, I... I'll show you the game in just a second and my full reaction to losing this. And I want you to tell me if this game was worth surrendering or not. First, let me tell you my take on the whole FF situation and what Riot can realistically do about it. As far as I know, the whole FF culture started from Korea, where it's normal for people to just go to like PC banks or internet cafes, whatever they are called, I don't know exactly, where they just play games from there because they have a PC given to them for a limited amount of time, right? They play, they pay by the hour, I think, something like that, right? And for them, it's more worth it to just surrender a game that's not likely to be won. So they save more time so they can just queue up a next game, you know, because they're on limited time, right? But guess what? We are not in Korea here. And even in Korea, I mean, still, most people play from their houses, right? In Europe, NNA guaranteed, like, I don't know, 99% of people guaranteed play the, from their houses. Okay, it's, it's, it's just how it is, okay? Of course, right? So there's no reason to save five minutes when you could just win a game. Because you save five minutes here, five minutes there, and five minutes there. And guess what? You know, it's not gonna add up compared to you just winning one of those games in the long run. Because in the long run, what you care about is winning more than you lose, not the time you saved, you know? Honestly, unless you have like 75% 70 win rate or something like that, something crazy. That's not really gonna matter to you. It will not matter. So. Surrendering is just a bad option if, you know, you have a condition, like a late game champion like Jinx, you know, with melee or whatever, and you just scale from that, right? Sure, I'm not saying don't surrender games that are completely garbage and your mid is running it down. Okay, of course, okay, just save time, whatever, you know, they don't want to win, so you're not going to win. But what I want to say is that Riot can't really change the behavior of people, right? That's the thing. So a lot of you might say, ah, but surrender is fine, just people have bad mental, right? Yeah, but yeah, this is exactly the problem. Riot cannot do anything about it. What Riot can do, though, is try to implement features that will prevent this kind of behavior from happening in the first place. So Azap had a really interesting take on this, where the surrender vote would just turn into a surrender check, because most people just surrender after a bad fight happens, you know, and that just ruins the immersion of the game, makes people lose focus, and it just sucks when that happens, right? I just hate seeing the surrender check pop above my minimap. It's such an annoying thing. I always just hide it. I press no altogether. I wish I could disable it, right? So, yeah, just as up had a great idea. I just press tab and there's like a check. When you have like four or five votes, good. The, the game's over. Cool. All right. Whatever, you know. Or at least, you know, at least make it so you cannot surrender at 50 minutes, okay? The problem right now I have in League, which annoys me the most, is the fact that I play late game ADCs, late game champions, right? Those require at least two or three items, maybe even four if you want an LDR, right? You need those items to be a champion. And you only get those items after 25, 30 minutes each on average, depends, right? And guess what? Um, <laughs> Because when you go in games that are mastered and above, um, games don't last 30 minutes on average. They last lower, short, they are, sorry, they're just shorter than 30 minutes. I'll pull up a graph so you can see that average game duration. It's just, I never really get to scale in my games. Why? Well, you know, meta is focused on early game a bit, there's a bit too much damage to game, cool. But the problem is that people surrender too early. You know, that's okay. It's not the biggest problem, right? It's other problems, but that's part of the problem because those games that are not surrendered, I could just win, right? So then it would make my win rate higher. So they, co they just, just directly affect me. That's why I don't like surrender feature, right? So Riot needs to do something about the surrender feature. On the other hand, though, Riot can kind of do something about players directly, which is punishing players a lot more. Because you see too often players just running it down because they are uh, 
it's just annoyed the game is over or they just make a couple of mistakes they say ah the game is over it is what it is i'm gonna misbehave some of my items by curls by tears whatever or just f game base f game the jungle do all that stuff they misbehave and guess what they don't get punished really Oh, maximum they get uh, a warning. Oh, a two-week vacation. Okay, they're, then they're just going to be back on the rift. Okay? It doesn't help. Oh, they get permaban. No problem. You can buy another account for like three euros. Whatever. Who cares, right? Hey, look. Riot. It's going to sound crazy. They're going to hate me for this. But Vanguard is coming. Okay? Vanguard is going to be implemented in two weeks from now. From making this video. And guess what? Vanguard will detect bots as well because those accounts that are three euros worth are made using bots that's how you level them to 30 level 30 and if vanguard gets introduced those accounts might be way harder to level to 30 now and so the prices will go higher and higher and higher and because of it people might actually care about their accounts a bit more because buying a new one might be a bit more expensive I don't know if this is going to really going to happen or not. It's just a guess, you know, it would be cool to see this happen because I really hate people throwing their accounts in the garbage because they don't care about it. They can just buy another one. And honestly, I realized this this year, especially league players, um, they don't really play the game because they enjoy it anymore. They play it because they're addicted. And that's really sad to see because personally, I play the game because I enjoy it. When I go into a game, I give my best and try to win every single game. But unfortunately, that's not the case for the majority of people, for some reason. I, I really don't understand. Because pretty much every single game, with some exceptions, people have negative things to type. People misbehave. If not your allies, the enemies misbehave. They give up. They say 9x this player, FF, uh, 15, uh, all this stuff and this is just like in every single game and it's really annoying and tiring to see that every game when i'm just trying to win the game to enjoy myself and improve but when my champion doesn't even reach their spike because people give up too early well uh, you know it's just it's just a bit sad yeah you know? just I'm, I'm just hoping something will change in the future because changes are required right now they, they are just required. It's it's not okay for solo queue to be like this anymore. I think it's not healthy at all. It's it's going to make people want to stop playing the game. Although, uh, to be honest, people are too addicted. They're not never going to stop. They are just too addicted. So, <laughs> but I, I wish the league was just a nicer environment to be in. I don't know. It's just weird because humans evolved in tribes to, to work together to just survive better, right? And yet now we just have fire random people in the in a, in a vir virtual world in a video game that can't even say good job to each other because their egos are too inflated you know because wow look at me i'm playing on on eu west and I, i'm i'm a good player wow and you're trash you know that's <laughs> it's just it's crazy man but anyway i really want to show you the full game and the game has been running in the background while i was talking because I honestly like if anything you can learn something from this game if you're really interested in Jinx matchups, right? We might know this matchup better in the future then. And I just want you to tell me if this game was actually worth surrendering. I don't know. I feel like we could have won this game easily. I, I, I honestly like, am I crazy or what? Well, anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of the game, and you're gonna see my reaction in the end. I was, yeah, really close to, to, to quitting that day. I was really really close to just saying that's it the stream is over i don't play anymore that was the closest i've ever been to rage quitting a stream because that experience was not fun just because vol is here chill me sir Card was just ulted. I might flash, but I have flash as well, it's not the problem. Nice. Okay. 
I need to focus. I'm, I'm <laughs> my my hand is wandering on the second monitor too much. Focus. <laughs> We're playing good so far. I don't wanna lose this advantage. In fact. And this is free. Ah. Maybe it's not so free. Cardinal should be in my grabs. Even if he's not, I don't think it's a problem. Tano just left her lane, so let's get out. It's annoying to have a mid laner constantly looking for bot. So I wanna play aggressive, but it's hard. Right? It's as always looking. And Cardo should be bot now. No front line. <sighs> I wish I got passive from Zeri there, my ult didn't deal damage. We were 4v5 after all. It's not how you do it, Jace. <laughs> Top. What do you think? Mercy or mayhem? Fuck off, minions. I lose the minions. Oh, they went that far back. She vaulted from here then into the little brush. I can actually go there still. I don't wanna go in the jungle like that. That seems stupid. I was right. Good. Why did I have two malignance things below me? From one card assault?
final behave. They're so strong. I'm losing so many resources because I'm not gaining anything and I'm losing minions. And I can't get kills. They're too strong. No, 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 I was gonna carry that we have Jinx Million on fed. I, I, I have like 30 more CS than Danny made this. Well, my game is broken. I, I... Can we remove surrender from the game? Can we like remove surrender? Like, why can't we remove? Surrender from the game. It's not healthy. I'm not honing anyone. It's it's seven to nine. Your jinx is almost at two items before anybody in the game. And she has a million. No, I, I can I, I don't know. I, I actually can't understand why is the game over? Like why is this game over? I, I I, I don't know, it's whatever. I don't know, I need a break. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I can't even report because it's part of the game. This is not their fault, it's Riot's fault because they don't freaking remove surrendering from the game. If they remove it, it'll be worse. No, because people have K and then they get banned. It'll be better. <laughs> 